Hi and welcome to Breakthrough Science. Benjamin here. Stephen Hawkins, one of the greatest thinkers of our time, died March 14, 2018. This session is about Stephen Hawkins' scientific heritage. In short, about big bangs and black holes. Enjoy. Stephen Hawkins was diagnosed with ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. This disease should have ended his life five years after the diagnosis. Nevertheless, now fifth, more than 50 years after this diagnosis, his life finally ended. And he leaves back a great heritage of public outreach, scientific discoveries, and a strong will to live. Okay, let's start with a crash course in Big Bang science. The universe started in a very small little point. All mass, all energy was contained there until it began to expand, accelerating, outwards, forming a dust of atoms, colliding, getting heavier, assembling until the first rocky bodies which were the foundation for our planets and stars, came into existence. The whole universe, with all the galaxies in it, keeps expanding up to this day. Nowadays, this theory is widely accepted, but it hasn't been the case in the 1970s, as Hawking's developed, together with Penrose, the on general relativity-based idea that the universe began as singularity. Okay, okay, one moment. Let me try to explain this statement. Einstein's general relativity theory described gravitation as a property of the universe, which is altered by mass and can even be rippled and emit gravitational waves. In 2017, these waves were measured for the first time. Einstein furthermore predicted that an object can collapse under its own mass, transforming into a singularity. The gravitational pull of these singularities is so strong that not even light can escape them. Does this sound familiar? A pull so strong, not even light can escape? Yes, we are talking about a black hole. So, we might simplify Hawking's and Penrose's theory and say that the Big Bang was like the collapsing of a black hole in reverse. After that, Hawking continued his research on black holes and argued that black holes always increase and never decrease in size. In order to combine it with thermodynamic laws, he had to work on the holy grail of modern physics. The unification of the general relativity theory with the quantum theory. He didn't manage that, but he found himself proving his original idea of black holes always getting heavier? Wrong. Black holes can shrink after all. And by doing so, they might emit the now called Hawking's radiation. One other big discovery in Hawking's CV. Hawking radiation is based on a quantum mechanical principle that in empty space, so a space free of any atoms, particles are continuously coming into existence. They appear in pairs of one matter and one antimatter, and they annihilate almost immediately. Hawkins argued that if this happens close to a black hole, one particle can be soaked in while the other one is transferred into the universe. If the one who is soaked in is antimatter, the total energy 
and therefore the mass of the black hole decreases. That was another session of Breakthrough Science. I hope you join me for the regular video next week Wednesday. And until then, stay tuned, stay curious. See you soon.